Worrying without action is a waste of time. This is your first day in real estate, and I am your real estate sales trainer and coach, James Festini. And this is the program that's going to teach you how to sell more real estate in less time. If you're religious at all, I think it's a sin to waste your life. And life is nothing but a construct of time and space. What are you worrying about? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to my content. Thank you for watching. As always, you should know I do one-on-one -on -one coaching. I work hard, play hard, I hit record, and I share it with you. But it is in an attempt to convince you guys that I am probably the right coach for you. Whether you like pain or not, it's probably the best alternative to waiting for things to happen. Go out and work for it. So I want to talk today about worrying. Worrying without action is probably one of the worst things you can do in this real estate business. It's going to destroy your morale. It's going to eat you alive if you don't take action. It's okay to worry. It's okay to worry if you're low on cash. It's okay to worry if your transaction is falling apart. It's okay to worry if you're listing, talking about canceling. It's okay to worry about these things. You see, the best part about this business is that you have the luxury of being your own boss, but you also have the non-luxury of having to deal with employees. Now, I know customers would never consider you, uh, you the boss and then the employee, but if you only have to answer to one person and they are the person who is the equivalent of you earning an income, Who's the, who's the employee and who's the employer? It is the customer, is the employee, is the boss. It's all full circle. So if you're a CEO of your own real estate company, how do you make money? By getting listings, getting sales. Therefore, the client is partly the production line of your industry. Therefore, as an entrepreneur, it is pretty much the equivalent of having employees and difficult employees that you have to deal with to make happy in an attempt to satisfy them so that you can continue producing results for the company. Does this make sense? Welcome to the Festini Factor, a weekly program that every day of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you're going to get a piece of content, actionable items, something that at $50 a month, will be an absolute no-brainer. Every weekday, you're gonna receive one video. Monday, we're gonna have motivational messages. Monday mindset is what it's called. One of the questions everyone asks, how do I keep going? I'm gonna let you in on that. The Monday motivational. Tuesday is gonna be technology. Every Tuesday, I'm gonna deliver you a message about the latest and greatest technology, whether it's old school or new school. Every week, you're gonna get a Technology Tuesday tip. Wednesday, Wednesday is marketing. Whether you do it online or you're going old school, if you're going door to door and you're creating marketing pieces, you're creating flyers, every Wednesday I'm gonna to deliver to you actionable plans, actionable items, where you can download a template for marketing, whether it's an email marketing piece or an actual printed piece that you can take with you to the doors or a mailer that you can do. You can start adding and building your letter library. Wednesday is gonna be marketing pieces, the world of marketing. Marketing. That's a big day for us. Thursday. Thursday is going to be sellers, exclusively dedicated to handling sellers, either obtaining listings, negotiating contracts, scripts, dialogues, expires for sell by owners, you name it. If it's a seller, I'm going to cover it. And of course, Friday, the last day of the week, setting you up for the weekend, buyers. Every Friday, I'm going to give you tips and pieces of advice on how to generate buyer leads, how to handle buyer leads, and that includes negotiating, how to get your offer accepted, how to write the perfect offer a whole system that I share with you so that you can go out there and get to work thanks for watching so worrying without taking action is gonna be the death of your potential in this industry if you take action so let's say how do you how do you take action how do you worry yourself into action if you're gonna have to worry deals falling apart your clients are talking smack right Things are going down. What can you do? What do you do? What do I do?
if I feel like money's getting low or I feel like I should be doing better in my business or something to that effect, I just work. I work through the, uh, the trouble. All I do is I work through the problems. I work through all of the agony and all of the ecstasy. When you're riding high, you want to make sure that you're working. When you're low, you want to make sure you're working. But if it starts to worry you, right? Because you're always, in this business, at least for me, it's always been about delicately balancing complacency with desire. If you're too complacent in this business, like if you have money, that is the hardest way, unless you are somehow self-driven it's very hard. It's really hard. I mean, I have a hard time. If I close two or three deals right in a row and I got, you know, two or three, forty thousand dollars that just came in, I start taking them time off. I start taking it easy. And that's uh, that's really hard for me to, to translate to other individuals who are who come into this business with a couple bucks. I don't think they realize everything you're doing right now is an is is going to be reflected in 90 days from now. So if you're prospecting, if you're following up with your calls, if you're door knocking, if you're marketing, you're farming, whatever it is that you're into, whatever your paycheck or your status is right now, it's for what you did 90 days ago and prior. But really, it's always kind of been, if you were working 90 days ago, you should have some leads and you should be getting some listings. If you weren't, then you don't have any leads and you're not getting any listings or buyers or sales or communication and doing it properly and remaining consistent. Meaning that if 90 days ago you were making your calls and you stopped making your calls on day 93, it's not consistent. You can't just work 90 days ago and expect to get paid. It's, it's a constant funnel. I don't understand how other agents in this industry survive. I really, I, I get this weird sense that, that a lot of real estate agents are lying about their success, that they're posting results or that you're getting this impression or maybe, see, I don't, I don't follow any other agents on Instagram and I don't follow any agents results. I don't look at who the top agents are or what they're doing. I don't check like Zillow to see how many listings such and such has. I don't follow anyone in the office, what they're doing, but I do know that other people do and that you as agents probably are watching other people and what they're doing and their success. And you're thinking to yourself, wow, they're doing so great. But are they? You see, I found out many years ago, I would work very, very, very hard. And yet there were other agents in my office who were creating tremendous amount of results. And I would always be number one, and then I'd be number two, and number three, and I'd be number three, number two, and I'd be number one, and number three, and two, just in the office, right? And I, and one day, it was about four or five years ago, one day I went to the office manager, I said, how is that person beating me I've talked to them how are they beating me number one and two and if I'm number three how are they beating me what are they doing I'm, I'm curious what are they doing I'm down and then the uh, office manager goes James what you don't understand is they're taking relocation relocation leads there's relocation companies that are in intertwined with uh, big box companies and I then at that time and it was funny because I never really worked with any relocation because I was never interested in like asking for leads. I've always just been the kind that I get my own leads. When she said that, she also mentioned that it's about 50% of their paycheck is gone. So don't worry about it, James. You're making twice as much regardless. I'm like, yeah, so is it ego? What worries you? Is your ego worrying you? Is it reality? Let's use the worst example of worry. The worst kind of worry. Let's say it costs you $10,000 $10, a month to survive in this business, meaning between mortgage, house payments, health insurance, your kid's dentist, all that stuff, right? You do your, what I call your nut, your total you know, outpouring expenditures, and you've got $30,000 in the bank. That's it which means that in 30 days you will have $20,000 and in 60 days you will have $10,000 and in 90 days you will have $0. And if I'm telling you that you have to be making money today for 90 days from now, that will be a wake up call, especially if you don't have an exit plan, which a majority of agents probably don't, they don't. They don't have a nest egg, 
maybe they have a car they could sell maybe they have some equity in their house they could sell their house and move and then like eat off of that right you have what 10 20 30 40 100 thousand dollars in equity okay i could we could technically sell our house get 90 grand and then what now you have nine months and then what are you going to do now you don't own a home and now you got nine months left to live are you going to be i describe it like a thermostat effort and worry is like a thermostat and ambition and complacency reluctance is is set on a thermostat and people like more successful like let's say grant cardone or gary vaynerchuk or casey neistat those are three people that i you know uh, admire their work ethic and their success level doing things differently i don't want to be them but it'd be nice to have their money you know worth that much money what is the story behind their thermostat they have said I'm not happy at this. I need to, like, if you're uncomfortable in your house and you're, you like, of me, I like 72 degrees. Like if I go in the office and the office is 75, I don't like that. If I'm going to bed and the, and the, the bedroom is 68, I don't like that. I'm like right around 72 degrees. So what does that mean? That means I set my thermostat and I'm comfortable. So how do you trick your mind into believing that your thermostat is wrong so that you can get uncomfortable enough to go do something about it to set the thermostat how do you increase your potential how do you increase your tolerance for pain how do you increase your drive when your back is up against the wall then and you start to worry how do you increase your outpour when you're worried the hardest thing to do and i've done it too many times is to work on prospecting and cold calling and lead generation when you're in a position of I need I need to have this like it's not that I want to have it I need it like if I don't get this deal I'm fucked right I'm totally screwed don't let yourself get to that every day you start at zero that is how I maintain not worrying every day I start at zero when I get up in the morning whether I have 10 listings or zero listings, doesn't matter. We may never get far enough into the future, especially if you're in a marketplace. See, I moved to this marketplace three years ago so that I can make paychecks big enough to get ahead. Because in my previous territory, it was just never enough. Like I was always, you know, 10 months a year in the bank and then it'd be like two slow months and I'm the 10 months and then a good well, good months and all of a sudden you've been down to like three months I'm like what happens and all of a sudden I get five or six listings and stuff and it's I, I describe it like this tunnel that you never quite get out of real estate is just this a light at the end of the tunnel that you never quite get out of the tunnel all you do is just push yourself farther into the future of complacency and comfort so it's time to get uncomfortable. You see, over the last many, many years in my industry, I've had a worry about the market changing. I've always been like, wow, what if the market changes? Oh my God, we worry about slow market, fast market, whatever. Now we're in an industry where there are two looming threats in the market. There is the industry and there is the marketplace. There is disruption and there is the marketplace so your market sales go down 25% like in my market right the amount of sales not the price is down 25% the amount of sales and inventory and turnover what does that mean that means I've got to work 25% harder what if I'm working at 100% capacity am I really now I know you guys watch me a lot and you guys are saying wow James yeah you put in a lot of work man you're doing like eight or nine ten hours of calling am I really if I went into you know my, my system and I said, how many am I doing? Am I, am, I, am I really doing? Like if it was a life or death situation, if this was a marathon and I was on a timer, how many am I putting in? Am I working hard enough? Nope. I need to work harder. So for those of you watching, if you haven't already begun, begin. If you're in the middle of worrying, worry. Be afraid, be very afraid. Now that you're done being afraid, if you're still afraid, you've got to suck it up. Put your big girl pants or big boy pants on, big girl skirt on, put on your put on your stiff upper lip and get out there and work harder. Sorry, there's no alternate solution.
If you're going to worry, work. Convert this fear into leverage. If you're scared that you're not gonna survive another six months in this business, work. If you're scared that your deal is going to fall out, work. If you don't know what to do, call me. Reach out to me, email me. I do one-on-one -on -one coaching. I will help you. We will find a way for you to make money. I'll, fin I'll find that way. It's, it's very easy. It's very simple. It's not easy. Whoever told you that this business was easy, lied to you. Anybody who tells you easy ways to get listings, lies to you. It's simple. It's not easy. It's hard. It's hard to get inventory. The inventory's tight. Everybody's tight. But you know, then again, I've never heard anyone say, oh, inventory's high. Let me ever hear that. I've, 26 years, I've never heard anyone say, inventory's, got too much inventory. Hmm, that's a problem I'd like to have. So let's work. Let me help you. I do one-on-one -on -one coaching. I teach you the systems. Most one-on-one -on -one coaches out there are like, you should this and let's check your numbers. I'm like, no, let's get in there and open up the hood and see what you might be doing wrong, what you're doing right, and let's see how we can make you more efficient so that you're working smarter and harder, okay? I teach you how to work smarter and harder. Please let me help you. If you're worrying, work. That's the only solution. If you're worrying, work through it. If you wake up in the morning with panic, get in the shower, get dressed, make sure your propaganda is there. If you're melting down with full-blown anxiety, get in the shower, hose down. If it's at 8.55 and you still got a loose stomach, at 8.59, be at the first door and start knocking. And if at 9.15 you still wanna throw up, go to the next door and if at 9 45 you still have to crap yourself go to the next door and if at 10 45 your feet hurt get in your car get on the phones and if you have to throw up throw up out the car window and keep going it's it's you might i guess the best way to kind of help you is um read the book by david goggins called can't hurt me and realize that you probably have about 40 percent more in you you're probably only working probably 40 to 60 percent. I'd say even if you think you're working hard It's about 60 percent. There's always more left in the tank. You can always do more. I can always do more I know that with my work ethic if I have a fully open schedule on a Monday morning And I've got nothing aligned for the day I know for sure that I have absolutely no excuse why I don't hit 100 doors in the morning, 100 contacts in the afternoon, and 100 evening, 100 contacts by phone in the afternoon, and another 100 doors in the evening. Totally possible, I've done it before. It just requires me tapping into that work, work through it. Could you imagine what kind of results you would get if you followed my plan? Could you imagine what kind of results you'd get? You're never gonna get out of this tunnel but you can sure get close enough to enjoy the light. Thanks for watching. Follow me, find me, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, wherever you're at, I'm probably there. Let me help you out. Have a great day, good luck. This episode is brought to you by MojoSells.com. Expires for sell by owners and prospecting solutions along with DNC compliance. It is my CRM of choice because I can set up emails and letters and follow-up campaigns to follow up more efficiently with the leads that I generate. Go to MojoSells.com and find me anywhere you consume content. On YouTube, go to James Festini. If you want to listen to my content on iTunes, please leave me a five-star review. Join the Festini Mafia at JamesFestini.com com forward slash training. There you'll find all of my products and information. If you'd like to make money, get back to work.